Little Miss Sunshine Shot Analysis Extreme Close-Up by Nora Clunan. The movie opens with just the eyes and nose of a young girl visible in the frame. Her eye line is approximately at the top third while her nose is centered. Lighting from the right illuminates her face, but leaves the left side in shadow, providing depth. She is also backlit, which is evident from the soft glow around her left cheekbone. The extreme closeness of the shot, cutting off her mouth, makes it difficult to distinguish emotion. This is the opening scene of the movie. It opens without sound or distinguishable reflection in the glasses. The audience is forced to focus on the girl. We notice the look in her eyes, her intensity, her age, the quality of her glasses, and that they are ill-fitting, and ask the question, what is she looking at? The image changes in the glasses rapidly, and it draws the eye because it is quick and flashy, but also because the viewer is craving the information it may provide. We can immediately conclude she is watching television. Cutting away to the pageant offers the illusion that the viewer is looking at the same thing the girl is looking at. The soundtrack provided fits the viewer's expectation for the scene. The audience asks a new question, why? The rest of the scene goes on to reveal that she is watching a video of a pageant crowning and she is pausing and rewinding it over and over again. Finally, we witness her practicing her reaction as if she were being crowned the winner. Surely many little girls dream of being crowned the most beautiful, most talented, most beloved winner of a pageant. The question of why, or her motivation, has been provided. Why use the extreme close-up? This extreme close-up is a hook. Just like in fiction writing, it starts us in the middle of the story and grabs our attention right away. The viewer is fed information about the character and her driving goal in the first minute 30 of the movie, before any dialogue is spoken. Was it successful? Yes, I think so.